us as younger brother, I just want to look at all of y'all in y'all eyes because the last time we were here and my brother spoke up for himself and all the millions of black people all over, you guys stayed silent and you tried to shut him down. What type of leadership would ever do anything like that? What type? And for the record, I know most of us call ourselves Christians, but guess what? Jesus left the 90 to go after the one. If you said anything, Mr. Thompson, that was out of the way, you should have been ready to say something. I apologize. Or either, Alan, it didn't exist, but you didn't say nothing. None of y'all said nothing except Mr. Grady. And then you tried to silence him. I was here. The Bible say, testify what you know. I was here and you tried to silence my brother. What does that say to the next up and coming leadership generation? What does that say? We have lawyers in here. We have big time people in here and everybody wanted to stay silent. The devil is a liar. Yeah. Hallelujah. What type of loyalty, what type of accountability do we have for Wachula? Do you just have it just for a select group? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Do you just hide behind a certain title or a certain position? I say again, the devil is a liar. It's time for us to stand up and it's time for us to be transparent. And even if, even if, for the record, even if, you know, you guys felt a certain way, somebody should have spoke to him and said, you know what? You owe these people an apology. You need to say something because when you stay silent, that says a whole lot. This oh, issue is sensitive. Oh, this issue is so sensitive. Our ancestors fought so hard. And everybody want to be silent like it does not exist. I say silence no more. Thank you. Hallelujah. I say, wow, what a word. Alan Ellison is my son. I didn't raise him to be called out of his name. I raised seven children, and I raised them to respect everybody. But since my son, Toby Ellison, he set the stage. So I'm gonna speak on behalf of my sister. During Hurricane Charlie, all the storms tore up her house. She's living anywhere she can lay her head. Yeah, she got a house remodeled through HUD. But that money had nothing to do with the hurricanes. The government sent money here for people like her. She didn't get any help. And I think she was treated wrong. I think she deserved to have her house fixed, just like any and everyone else. You shouldn't have to go and, and ask somebody, can you stay here tonight? Can you stay there tonight? That's wrong. She deserved help, and I ask that she get the help that she needs so she can go back in her home. Thank you. Unless we want to go back to Jim Crow, I think Mr. Thompson needs to go. My name is Darlene Fields, and I live in Bowling Green. And I think Mr. Thompson should resign also. And it's not only for just the racial comments, but the comments about people not having money to do stuff. I stay at home. We live on one income. My husband happens to work for the county. Okay? So we're paying for you to talk about um, us and say people that half the people that voted for you don't have money. It was okay when they was when you were running for them to vote for you, yeah. but now that you're in, then it's it's not right. You don't want somebody up here that's that doesn't have a job, or you don't want somebody in here that's not going to grease your pockets. That's all I gotta say. I'll just call what you want. Um, Mr. Chairman, I think you ought to resign too because yeah. you tried to protect Thanks. him last time by shutting us up and violating our First yeah. Amendment rights to free speech. Yeah. And two other commissioners, two other commissioners out there, your silence spoke volumes. You need to go too because that showed support for this man. That's right. Yes. Right. Two other incidents uh, occurred recently that uh, lend a little irony to this whole situation. 
And that is, it's a, one's already been mentioned, that's Horst. When Mr. Thompson led the charge to get rid of Horst, he said, Horst uttered one word. Of course, we all know that the reason he got rid of Horst was he asked too many questions. But Mr. Thompson said it was because he uttered one word. It's actually an acronym, but we go. That one word he just couldn't get over. He couldn't forgive Horst for. So he had to get rid of Horst. Well, that one word that uh, Mr. Thompson uttered is far worse than Rico. Amen. He needs to resign. If it was good enough for Horst, it's good enough for you. Yep. The other incident is Mr. Thompson is now leading the charge to get rid of Don Samuels. Basically for the same reason, asking too many questions. But Mr. Thompson, he didn't say it was too many questions. He said, Mr. Samuels is not helping the county move forward. Well, what Mr. Thompson said, did that help the county move forward? No, it moved the county back 50 years. It's a disgrace, it's an embarrassment. He Amen. needs to resign. Boy, I might feel like I'm going to die in your cabin here. I ask for anyone to resign. What I came to ask for is equal opportunity for the black community. We need a lot of work done down in, in our area. We need lights. I'm an elderly handicapped and I don't have lights on my street. I don't have sidewalks to walk down. And that's help. I'm asking for help. I'm not asking for anybody to resign. Everybody deserves a second change. Not in this case. And an apology would be great now. But yeah. I'm not asking for anyone to resign. But we do need help down in the black community with our lighting situation and our sidewalks. They know this already. Donna Cook, Cincinnati Chamber Boulevard, watching with Florida. Um, I just come up in to say a few words because I'm a God-fearing woman. And I can say the years that I met Mr. Grady Johnson, he was an outstanding commissioner. Things I went to him about our community down there, he tried to do his best to get it done. And I hope that the, the commissioner that we got coming in now, Mr. Mazzini, work with us, not against us. Work with us. Get to the root of all the problems, not just the surface, to the root. When you get to the root, that's when everything springs up. Springs up. So I'm asking for myself that our commissioner work with us to get things done in our community. Because it seems like when money being put in this county, we get left out. <laughs> Because we time. don't never come up here and say nothing. But we should now them you. days is behind. Amen. It's time for us to come together right. as God's children, not no colors or nothing, but as God's children, come together, unify, and get things done right in heart and kind. My name is Luann Tompkins. I live at West Greenfield. And the second reason is when Hurricane Charlie hit Hardy County, it was a disaster area for the whole county, not just part of the county. My house is still sitting unfixed from Hurricane Charlie. And that was due to y'all, the commissioners. I'm still homeless, living with my mother. And this the way I'm supposed to be done? This the way my nephew is supposed to be done? He's not the N-word. That's a young man, a beautiful young man. Thank you, very intelligent. Um, 
it very well disheartened me to hear this young man to say a word like that. These days are passing on. It says that in the Bible, these days are passing on. We don't live for those days anymore. We live for today. I have been a bus driver since 1989, and I have had all different races of kids on my bus, and I love every last one of them. I know some of you all are on the border around there, uh, sitting around here. Now, I know you all, and you know me. I have always tried to teach all the kids to respect our law enforcement, to respect our other people that are in higher places, whether what color, we or whatever they are respect and everybody in here if you cut your arm right now you bleed just like i bleed your blood is the same color as my blood god is so good and i'm glad he brought this to our attention so we can see what is really in the hearts of some of the people that sits on this board I, I really want to cry because I can't believe I was born and raised in this county. Oh my gosh. And I love my county and I'll do everything I can for my county. Listen, it's some good white people. It's some bad white people. It's some good black people. It's some bad black, white black people. It's some good Hispanic people. It's some bad, but we don't call people names. When I was born, my mom gave me the name of Belinda. And that's who I want y'all to consider me as. And you in your places, I would consider you as commissioner so-and-so, or even uh, lawyer Everett. I would respect you for who you are. Don't call me or others out of their names. And also on my bus as a referral, as a referral, if they use that word in, they are written up and they're suspended from off the bus. So Mr. Thompson, I think that you should go. Thank you. Thank you. Records, I really do believe that um, you should resign. 21st century. And if you look at Missouri, some of y'all make me feel like, you know, the county need heat. You need heat like them. Because I'm gonna tell you, going from that cemetery and you got the whole neighborhood in there cleaning the cemetery, but yet I see the county people of town cleaning theirs. Then you got a whole bunch of boys dealing with water, moccasin snakes. Do y'all have that uptown at the um, basketball court? Don't even have garbage cans. The man said, I'll bring new basketball goals. He bring the same one and paint them right in front of him. And yet we have this young black fellow that goes down and mow the yard. I'm like, why are you mowing the yard and they got plenty of money? Then I, I don't understand. And you mow half of the grass. We got holes in the roads. How many cars have people have busted tires in, in the games that's played? How much money do y'all have coming in now? That's what I would like to know. And then as a community, we need to watch this money. We need to know where every dime is going. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not going in the black community. Not my million man. Not, and, and Mr. Um, Evers, ooh, what a conflict of interest. <laughs> I paid taxes. I paid my taxes the other day. Education. And you on the education over there, cracking with me and over here too, playing this little what you call mind game? Oh my Lord, 21st century. And you mean to tell me I'm gonna pay education money yet from the county and then I'm gonna have my kid dogged out? You over there doing the same game that you playing here? Woo. I'm talking about you, you everywhere. You, you playing this game with everyone. I can't even sit with you and talk to you. You refuse to talk to me for some reason. I have nothing to do with education. Oh yeah, you got a lot. You got a lot. Y'all sit there and communicate. My my tax dollars, I'm, I'm asking that you be my lawyer and take them taxes off my education too. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Any other public comment?